I'm going to show you how to do a circuit that will involve your legs, your arms, um, and your abs. It's a quick one that you can do while you're on the road. You don't need any equipment. You just need to find something like I'm going to use this right here um, for an incline. So you could use table, the chairs. I love these incline workouts uh, where you're just using an incline and your own body weight. Um, for us ladies, using body weight really sculpts um, beautiful long lean muscle. So I'm all about it. Let's do this. So place hands about shoulder width apart. Bring your feet back. Going to actually spread your hands a little bit wider, it helps a little bit. You're gonna lower down and up, just like that. So, we're gonna do 10 of those. Ready? One, two, three. Make sure you're in straight plank form. You don't wanna drop your hips like that and you don't wanna arch them up. Just a straight plank. Five, six, seven. Nine, breathe out as you come down. Ten. Good. Follow along with me. 11, 12, you're pushing your hips back. 15, 14, 15, 16, press into your heels. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Make sure your knees are not going over top of your toes. 25. Halfway there, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, it's starting to burn a lot, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, try and get your butt down low, 37, 38, 39, 40, 10 more, 41. 42, check your form, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Shake it out a little, and we're gonna come over here and do tricep dips. So, you're going to put, place your hands on the edge of whatever you're using. The further out that you place your feet, the more challenging it's gonna be. So if you're up for a big challenge, put those feet further out. You're just gonna be lowering yourself down, lifting yourself up. So that's working your triceps, which is the back of the arm. So we're gonna do 15 of these. So align yourself out, grab whatever you got around you, a uh, couch, a table, um, anything like a, a ledge. So, we're out and we're gonna lower down. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now we're gonna do a walking lunge. Walking lunges work the back, so that's gonna lift your butt and give your legs this nice toned look. I prefer walking lunges. You can just do regular standing lunges, which look like this. You're just lunging in place. I prefer to do walking lunges. So I'm gonna do 50 of the walking lunges. I'm just gonna lunge all the way down there and come back. And when you lunge, because you probably won't be able to hear me as I'm walking down, Again, knee doesn't go over top of the toe. Knee stays back, you wanna drop as low as you can to the ground. The lower you can go, the more oomph you're gonna get from it, the more results you'll get. And uh, yeah, follow along. Here we go. One, two, three, one 50 oh my gosh all right so that was really really intense my legs are killing me so if you're new to this do 25 or 15 to start you don't have to do the full 50 right there oh thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed that workout make sure you do it three times through and if you're new to this just lower the reps instead of doing 50 walking lunges just do 15 instead of doing 50 squats. Just do 15, then build up to 25, then go to 50. Um, and eventually, if you have a ton of time, you can go to 100. But with three sets, we're gonna be really feeling it, especially the last set. So if you like this video, please leave me a comment and hit the thumbs up button. Um, also subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. I'm traveling on the road, so you can follow all my ventures on Facebook. My page is Steph Hendel. And I'm on Instagram, uploading photos all the time. And then on my website, you can go there, uh, sign up for my newsletter. It's free. It goes out weekly. And I give a ton of tips on how to stay healthy, um, exclusive stuff that I only put in that newsletter. So make sure you're signed up for it. Thanks for doing this workout with me. I hope it was awesome. I hope you loved it. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so after a great workout, there's nothing like a polar plunge.